Good day again to you grade 4 learners. Our lesson today is solving routine and non-routine problems involving area of squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Again, stay focused and learn a lot. Let's start with routine word problem. We have finished discussing routine word problems and it requires steps to be solved. Let me read it for you. Samuel planted a vegetable garden in his backyard to prevent soil erosion. His vegetable garden is in the shape of a trapezoid. One side is 20 meters long while the other side is 18 meters long. The distance between the sides is 25 meters. What is the area of the garden? Let's answer the following questions. What is asked in the problem? Correct, it asks what the garden area is. Second is, what are the given facts that will be used to solve the problem? Right, they are the sides of 20 meters and 18 meters long and the distance of 25 meters between the sides. Next is, what operation or operations to be used? Precisely, this is the formula for getting the area of the trapezoid which are addition, multiplication, and division. And the last is the number sentence 20 meters plus 18 meters times 25 meters divided 2 equals n. Let us now solve the problem using the number sentence 20 meters plus 18 meters, equals 38 meters. 38 meters times 25 meters equals 950 square meters. And 950 square meters divided by 2 equals 475 square meters. Therefore, the area of Samuel's garden is 475 square meters. Let's move on to the non-routine word problem. It requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. It does not have an immediately apparent strategy for solving. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways. An example is a grass lawn that is 24 meters by 18 meters. At the center, there is a mini pond with a length of 12 meters on each side. Find the area of the lawn covered with grass. All we will look for is the lawn area with grass. What strategy will we use? Let us first get the area of the whole lawn. And since its shape is a rectangle, we will use the formula length times width. So, 24 meters times 18 meters equals 432 square meters, the area of the whole rectangular lawn. The next thing we will take is the area of the mini square pond, by multiplying 12 meters times itself, equals 144 square meters. Since we are looking for the lawn covered with grass, we will remove the mini pond, by subtracting its area from the area of the whole lawn, which is 432 square meters, minus 144 square meters, equals 288 square meters. 
Therefore, the area of the lawn covered with grass is 288 square meters. Another way to solve this non-routine problem is to illustrate or now by animation, let us watch this animation and check if our answer is correct. Focus. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.